In this video, I want to show you how to convert uh, well-known fractions to percentage because if you know it, the conversion, it can be really helpful. So let's start with the simplest of fraction. So you should be knowing one half is 50%. Now one half is, if you want to write this as out of 100, percentage is out of 100. So this is, say, 5 out of 10. 1 half is same as 5 out of 10, and 5 out of 10 is 50 out of 100. So if it is 50 out of 100, that means it is 50%. So this is pretty easy, so let's do 1 quarter. Okay, now 1 quarter is same as, I'm multiplying both the numerator and denominator by 25. So because I know 4 times 25 is 100. So in, in fact, what I did here was I multiplied both by 5. So that's why it became 5 out of 10. And then I multiplied both the numerator and the denominator by 10. Okay. And that's how I got 50 out of 100. So here I'm going to multiply by 25 both the numerator and denominator. So this becomes 1 out of 4 or 1 quarter becomes 25 out of 100. <coughs> which is nothing but 25%. Or you can also understand logically, a quarter is a half of half. So if if half is 50%, a quarter is 25%. Okay, now when it comes to say one, uh, say one fifth, okay, now these are fractions which can be easily be converted into hundreds. So what number should I multiply that makes this a hundred? So well, five times, what is 100? So 5 times 20 is 100. So you do the same thing to the top number. So I have multiplied both the numerator and denominator by 20. So this becomes 20 out of 100, which is 20%. So if you remember, these fraction to decimal, sorry, fraction to percentage conversion, it can be really be helpful. Okay, now what is say, one tenth, okay. One tenth is pretty easy. I'm not doing one tenth. So if it is one twentieth, okay, one twenty. So I have to multiply both by five. It is five out of hundred, uh, which is fifty per five percent, and so on. Now these are easy conversions, but when it comes to say fractions like let, let me change color. Suppose what happens if you have a fraction like one out of three, one third. Now three, you can't change it, in, ch change it into 100. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do a trick here. So I'm going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 100. So this is times 100 over 100. So I'm multiplying both by 100 over 100. So this is same as, so let me change color. This is, same as, I can swap the number around, so can I write this as 100 over 3 times times 1 over 100. Okay, so this this and this has swap around, so 100 came here, 1 went here, uh, 100 remained here. This, I have not, the denominator hasn't moved, the numerator number has swapped around. So this is 1 times 100 is same as 100 times 100 times 1. Okay. Now this, so let me explain something here. Now dividing by, multiplying by 100, 100. So let me explain this. Suppose uh, 5 divided by 10. 5 divided by 10, you know is 5 out of 10, which is 1 half. Now dividing by 10 is same as multiplying by 1 tenth. I divide by 10 is same as multiplying by 1 tenth. I'll show you. So this is 5 out of 1, which is 5 out of 10, which is 1 half. So dividing by, dividing by 10 is same as multiplying by 1 tenth. Or multiplying by 1 tenth is same as dividing by, dividing by, 10. Okay, now let me give you one more example. Say, <clears throat> multiple, suppose 100, 
uh, not 100, let me take a different number, say uh, 50 times 100. 50 times 100 is 50 out of 100. Okay, 50 out of 100 because you multiply the top, the numerator and the denominator which is one half. Now what if it is 50 divided by 100? 50 divided by 100 is also 50 over 100 which is one half. So what I want to, what I'm trying to explain here is multiplying by 100, multiplying, multiplying by 100 is same as dividing by 100. Okay, so let me explain further. So this becomes, so now let us simplify this. 100 divided by 3. So 3 goes in 100 how many times? So well, 3 goes in 100 33 times because 33 times 3 is 99. So this and this are one and the same. So this is 33 whole, 1, 1 third divided by 100 because you're multiplying by 100 is same as dividing by 100, which is 33 and one third <coughs> divided by 100, which is, that's why one third is 33 and one third percent. Okay, now what happens if it is <coughs> one twelfth? Okay, so let me take next uh, number six I want to change one twelfth as a percent so what I'm going to do I'm going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 100 by 100 so this is same as 100 over 12 times times 1 over 100 1 over 100 so now what will become what will this become? So 100 over 12, <coughs> excuse me, is same as dividing both by 2, it is 50 out of 6, divided by 100, divided by, di multiplying by 100 is same as dividing by 100. So this is again dividing by 2, so this is 25 out of 3 divided by 100. So this 25 out of 3, let's write as a mixed number. So 3 goes in 25, 8 times, and 1 remainder. So this is 8 whole and 1 third divided by 100. So that is same as out of 100. So 1 twelfth is 8 and 1 third percent. 8 and 1 third percent. So it's, this is at times used, if you know this fact, that 1 12, so let me write the fact in a separate color, 1 12th is same as asking what is 8 and 1 third person. Actually, the, if you know this fact that 8 and 1 third percent is 1 12th, it can be useful. Okay, let me finish off with the last question. Uh, what is a 1 sixth? Okay, so let me, this is number 7 hopefully. So let us convert one sixth as a uh, as a percent. So I'm going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 100. So this becomes this is same as 100 out of six times one out of hundred. Okay, uh, you can understand 100 and 100 gets cancelled. So what is remaining is 1, 6. So this and this are, are the same. So this is nothing but 1, 6. So 1, 6, 100 out of 6 is same as 50 out of 3, dividing both by 2. So this is times 100, the same as dividing by 100. Okay, now 3 goes in 50 how many times? So well, you should know the times table. So 3 times 10 is 30. 3 times 20 is 60, so it is, should be between, so let's do, so 3 times 16, 3 times 15 is, 3 times 15 is, uh, okay, so 3 goes in 50 how many times? Oh, not 5, that's the mistake, so 3 times, 3 times 15 is 
45. Okay, am I right? And I want 50. Okay, so you can again go 3 times 1 is 3, which is 48. So we can say 3 times 16 is 48. Okay, so 3 times 16 is 48 and 2 is the remainder divided by 100, which is same as 16 and 2 third percent. Okay, so let's write, let's do a quick revision uh, of the fraction that we saw. One half, you should know is 50%. One half is 50%. One quarter is 25%. Okay, so these are fractions. One fifth is how much percent? So 20%, okay, times by 20 will give you 100 here and 20 out of 100. One tenth, you should know is 10%. Okay, now what else did we see? One third is 33 and one third percent. So logically two thirds, we didn't do this, but logically you can understand if one third is 33 and one third, two third would be 66 and two third percent. Okay, now one twelfth, Let's recollect one twelfth is eight and one third percent. One twelfth is eight and one third percent. And ultimately, we saw one sixth is how much? Can you see a relationship between sixteen and two thirds? Sixteen and two third percent. Can you see the relation between one sixth and one twelfth? One twelfth is half of one sixth. So if one sixth is sixteen and two third, one twelfth is eight and one third.